Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron for the Great War with me, Alpha Omega and Austria-Hungary. So after uh, we achieved a massive victory on the Western Front in the last episode, uh, we are now trying to get rid of this uh, little rogue pocket of units that's terrorized us for quite some time. But before we go, I actually wanted to check, we haven't really gotten all of the territory, have we? No, we actually got most of it and we are owning part of French territory. Okay, so not much changed on the Western Front, but that is fine. That is absolutely fine by me. Uh, no movement is good movement. How are we doing on supplies? We have tons of artillery. We have some infantry equipment here. Transport vehicles, heavy artillery. Okay, so this is all looking regal. 42. Okay, this production efficiency is just not that great, but other than that, it's looking good. Cool. Uh, we also achieved some unbelievable victories at sea, and we are still working on finishing two more ships, after which we are going to look into the possibility to get a new destroyer. Oh, nice. We're going to get construction to and film screen and radiography soon. And hopefully even the 1916 heavy now. So let's continue with the assault here, uh, which we haven't. So let us actually start that. Actually, would it be possible to do something with these guys? No. I don't think so. They have too many units here, but it's fine. It is fine, you're just gonna stay here for now, and we are going to... What the hell is happening here? Why are you not doing anything? So our units here are attacking this one enemy division. You know what? You know what? You need to stop. I'm gonna attack here with you instead. We'll focus on... Okay, you can actually stop here too. I'm gonna focus on I'm making this pocket smaller. Come on, guys. Get in there and make this happen. Well, you guys should be able to attack your hundred. Nope, I just wanted. You two to die attack here. We lost another two transport ships, but that is fine. And we're starting to run out of supplies. Okay, we don't need that many things and tungsten. S German Empire can provide us with tungsten. Okay, two of you go there. Do you you will stay here. Film screen a radiography. No description but lowers supply consumption. So now let's get let's get underground mining. Because that is going to increase our usage of everything, won't it? Yep. Uh wait, what we're importing tungsten? From okay, gotcha. So we can just import it from Germany and free civilian factories because we finished all the projects. Uh, okay, let us build something here. Let us build something here. Let us build something here and in Krakow. And in here, we're gonna build a port first, though, repair all of this. Amazing. Uh, just amazing. Uh, 
So you guys stop and attack here. And I'd like you to instant support this attack. Which is going to be exactly as great as it sounds, even though we are not really doing much here. Are we? No, we're nowhere near the point where we could actually get an additional unit, but uh, with the increases everywhere we are going to get to that point. Okay, unassigned division and go to the western front. Uh, we will need more divisions here, won't we? Yeah. Uh, this is probably the last division that we're sending here and all of the newer ones are gonna go to the east where we need to strengthen our positions as well. Construction 2 increases construction speed by 2%. Now let's get the military cameras and be happy about that. Okay, so you guys can get in here. Which means at this point we can pretty much launch this attack. Pushing them even further. Realistically, are you gonna make it? Please don't tell me that they will retreat there fast. I know they won't. Okay. The rest, yeah, we desperately need to help here with this border and this as well. I don't know how that is even possible that this is done, but okay, you can actually go here. I think at this point, this is what army. Okay, you guys can actually completely delete this and instead you are going to be positioned. Come on. Okay. Uh, select all. Go here. I'm actually going to make this like so, so that we can get a better control over the territory as well. Alright, let's get the railways. Okay, the railways done. And here we go. Uh, for some reason the game keeps thinking that we can't attack, which we totally can, and we can totally eliminate these Serbian divisions, which is absolutely amazing. So this is what army. Okay, you can shorten the border here. Yep, and these guys are toast. So here goes another couple hundred thousand in casualties. Because they weren't really all that devastated. <sighs> gotcha. Oh, ho, ho. amazing. So now we really have to be careful about where we go. 
So you can go with organization first. And still nothing here? Nope. Nothing. Really nothing. So these are plain provinces and they got tons of units here. This is all original Romanian territory. So I think it might be worth... Are we going to first help Romania or are we first going to help Germany? Okay, Germany seems to be holding its own. So we can dedicate these divisions to reconquering these areas. This is part of... yep, okay. So we'll push them away from here first. Uh, so, three of you... Okay. Three of you will go here. And... Three of you are gonna go here. I'm gonna launch the attack here and reconquer that territory. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna start here because that is a gateway into hell. So you guys will go here and you guys will go here. That's actually going to be a super easy, super easy thing to do. Western Balkans Navy Invasion. Find these two things, or three things, I don't mind. Okay. Can we actually, yeah, we could upgrade it to... Total mobilization is not gonna happen unless we get war support. But that would require... Yeah, we can't do that. We can't do that, but other than that, it is fine. Yep, we can start getting more divisions here. So, the question is, considering the 1915 Western Western Infantry Divisions, if we added artillery here, we would still have enough. And for the greater boost our soft attack and defense and breakthrough. Supply use is gonna increase significantly, but so will the attack. But instead, I might just go ahead and go with the infantry division here and add a field hospital to them. Or we could take these ones, add the artillery and make these 1916 infantry divisions. And maybe even add more artillery here. Okay, yeah, I agree. So let us edit these, duplicate it, give them support artillery, and give them an artillery unit here. That is a copy. So this is gonna be 1916 Eastern Front. Wait, if I added another artillery, that would be 22, but the... Oh my god, that would be amazing. In case they attack us, they're gonna suffer tremendously. So let's save this as a template. And... Unfortunately, I can't change these, can I? Nope, but I can start training new ones. You are going to be changed in Budapest. And we are going to call you 19, 951st Infantry Division. Do we want to send these to the east or just turn them? I don't think we need to send them to the east, though. Yeah, we won't. We want to because they need more reinforcements there. And we got... Don't we? Nope. Oh, okay, that wasn't counted in. That wasn't counted in. Okay, so where are you guys now? Oh, you're almost there. Amazing. 
So we're going to completely push you out of here. This is, do you know what we could do? That would be really insane, but I don't feel like attacking Bulgaria might be such a bad idea and connecting here. I'm going to actually shorten the border and open a way how we can help here, but yeah, if we can send more divisions here to support uh, Germany, this is actually pretty possible. Not like a great idea, but it is possible. Okay, so let's start by bombarding you guys. I can't wait for us to get additional troops to strengthen this. But we will definitely need to do something with these guys. That that cannot stand. It's annoying the hell out of me that they actually manage to take away factories. It's such a small small area. So let's just push them away from here. That way we will have a free reign. We'll fix this issue here and then we're gonna fight uh, fight Burga, so Burgas, <laughs> fight Bulgaria. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. And I can't wait for the tanks. God damn it, 11 more days. But I think that's gonna happen in this episode. Okay, push them out. We don't want the Russians in here. Okay, add additional unit. It's gonna be the 952nd Infantry Division. Twenty 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 twenty. That is good. And considering it's nine hundred, uh, nineteen hundred sixteen, I think afterwards we might. Yeah, we desperately need to get some of these, like early line machine guns and that. We focused on tanks and stuff like that, like industry, but this one is also going to be important. And I won't have much of a chance here eventually. I think it's time we cancel this and just have them full on rock this. More factories coming soon. We'll repair this one. Yeah, we're unable to get air going, but that's not going to take much longer. Yep, we got you. We got you. So let's wait for the Germans to actually take up positions here. We get other work then. I'll have you here. Okay, go. Should not go there. Just these three. We're gonna push them. push them out of this territory, keep them beyond the river. Then we're bringing this little piece. I think I might just push here towards the river and then we're gonna go on a full-scale assault on Bulgaria. And because it's unbelievable that the Turks and Germans can still hold that. They deserve to receive some reinforcements. Are you already running? Just just seeing our units coming here. 
That's, that's adorable. Bam. Yeah, they, I think that Bulgaria and Serbia are out of manpower, quite honestly. Yeah, they are. Look at that. They don't have enough manpower. So it shouldn't be that hard to knock them out of the war. It should be our next target then. You stop here and now you are going to go dang it this is gonna be a rough but oh my god yes finally so we're going to put four of you in here one of you in here and one of you in here just because of uh, just because of the width. Okay, we finished the tank. Now let's go with early light machine gun and actually look at the tank because that is something that I have been waiting for for so long. So the 1916 heavy. 1916 heavy has a 31 breakthrough. That's just... And cost what? 17? Okay. Soft attack 28. Okay, so it's the basic heavy cannon. Okay, the Freeman turret is definitely something that we want. We want the radio, so that's more breakthrough and defense. Uh, what would that do? That was armor. You just help with soft attack and hard attack and breakthrough. Okay, but lowered reliability. That is not great. But yeah, look at that. Okay, reliability needs to go up. Can we get something that's gonna help? Okay, torsion bar is going to help with reliability. Cast armor, Jesus, yeah. And which one of you is most reliable? Diesel engine. Okay, production cost is insane. I'm not gonna lie, but. It is still amazing. Okay, this way we got 33% 33 production cost, 40 soft attack, hard attack. Oh my god, I don't have enough experience armor. But this is what we're gonna go for here. This is what we're gonna go for here. I guess in the next episode, because we just don't have enough uh, experience. But speaking of the heavy tank, is it possible to start at yes? Oh dear god, yes, look at how the breakthrough goes up. We will require 4 days for each division, but the breakthrough nearly doubles. Eventually, this is the goal. And by god, this is gonna be unbelievable. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. See you in the next episode where we are going to start producing the tank.